Good on to you guys, it's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about why Bitcoin is gold 2.0. So if you have watched any of my content surrounding Bitcoin in the past, you would know that this is pretty much my elevator pitch for Bitcoin, that it's digital gold, that it's gold 2.0. This is what I tell people who may not know much about Bitcoin because I feel like this is the best and most simple way to describe it. So I'm not a crazy anarchist. I'm not a crazy libertarian who thinks that Bitcoin will ultimately debase the US dollar and become the global reserve currency. Maybe that will happen 50 to 100 years from now but if we're talking the next five to ten years i think it's much much more likely that bitcoin becomes defined as a digital better version of gold so i'm gonna keep this one pretty quick for you guys pretty simple as you can see here in front of us we have this beautiful graphic courtesy of Cointelegraph. I couldn't have made this thing up better myself which covers the the major principles of hard money assets like bitcoin and gold scarcity durability portability divisibility storage counterfeit difficulty and adoption okay so again these are the principles of good hard money assets like bitcoin and gold they can just be printed out of thin air the money printer can't just go burr with these like it is currently doing with the us dollar okay so we'll go over this again great graphic shout out to coin telegraph once again credit where credit's due and then as you can see in back of us this chart is awesome so this chart is great by Wu Bull Charts. Shout out to this guy because I've, I've actually, this is the first time I've ever seen this chart. I watch a lot of Bitcoin content, you guys, and this is the first time I've seen this chart, and I really love this. So, one dollar invested in bitcoin versus gold over 11 years so with this it's important to to remember that bitcoin was only conceived 11 years ago it's only just over a decade old and it's crazy to think that as bitcoin currently is floating 10 11 12 thousand dollars comfortably it's crazy to think that it was pennies at a time and obviously it's very it's very unlikely that anyone got in at these levels almost like you had to have been an absolute prophet or an oracle or a time traveler if you got in there um if you happen to be watching this video i highly doubt it drop comment below let's give you some praise but again very unlikely that said though you can see here that if you got in at any point in time the i mean the way bitcoin has has just compounded over time and gone from pennies to literally um thousands of dollars tens of thousands of dollars um again you can see here it went up it 17 million x it didn't 17 million percent x or it didn't go up by 17 million percent i should say it's 17 million X. So that's like 1.7 billion percent. It's crazy to think that again, very unlikely, but still a very cool chart. Um, and again, Bitcoin is just a newer thing. Gold has been around for thousands of years. It's very, it's very, it's established itself as a very safe and very sound money and a very good way to store your value and not lose value in your wealth. But there's a new kid on the block. That one's Bitcoin, and uh, I'm excited to talk to you guys about this, okay? So before we do get into it, though, I will ask you guys to please give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and want to catch more content like this. Truly appreciate it. Okay, so let's just straight up go over this again. Very well made. Shout out to Cointelegraph once again. Bitcoin, gold, scarcity. You can see all the checks here, so it's definitely in favor of Bitcoin. But again, I, I agree with every point here. Scarcity. Bitcoin scarcity is fixed and gold is just scarce. So Bitcoin is absolutely scarce. Gold is relatively scarce. So gold is hard to find. It takes a lot of energy and resources to accumulate. It takes a lot of mining machinery and labor to accumulate gold, right? But there's still a lot of gold in the earth and in space. Gold is pretty much space metal, okay? It comes from meteorites. And as we develop, you might've heard the Winklevoss twins talk about this to, to Dave Portnoy, El, El Presidente, if you, ever, if you watch that interview. And what they said might sound kind of um, kind of strange, but what they were pretty much saying is that as as technology moves forward, as we move forward um, technologically, and we we continue to um, look through space more and explore space more, we're able to mine space. Okay, so that could be a little far out, but it's inevitably coming at some point. And asteroids are pretty much made up of gold. Again, gold is on this Earth from asteroids hitting the planet over millions of years. Okay, and if if there's tons and tons of gold in, in meteorites and asteroids then why can't we just mine it and bring it back to earth okay that makes gold scarce it's hard to accumulate still and it's still very valuable but it's not absolutely scarce so bitcoin as we speak right now there are about 18.5 million bitcoin in circulation okay fun fact there's not even enough bitcoin on earth or will ever be on earth for every millionaire on the planet right now so if every millionaire wanted to own one whole bitcoin they couldn't okay i always say that but i feel like that's something very good to know Bitcoin is absolutely scarce. There's only 18.5 million in circulation right now. And as humans, as human history exists, there will only ever be 21 million. And those, those, those next 3 million, those next two and a half, three million are going to take hundreds of years to come out to actually complete that cycle. And there's actually probably less than that because a lot has been lost over the years when it was, when it wasn't worth as much, people weren't as worried about 
losing something that was worth a few cents at the time, a few dollars. Um, now it's worth tens of thousands of dollars. Those guys are, I mean, losers weepers but it's good for the ecosystem because that means the less bitcoin that means a more scarce asset so there's more likely probably only ever going to be maybe 20 million bitcoin in circulation at all time again not even enough for every millionaire on earth to own one bitcoin moving on durability bitcoin is software gold is hardware so so again gold is it's nice if you like physical things but as we trend in a, in a world that is trending digital at a very very rapid pace especially with this current pandemic especially when everyone's at home this this pandemic this lockdown just expedited just just really rushed the process of where trends were going already so everything was already trending digital that's very obvious with amazon and stuff amazon's a perfect example of that okay how how brick and mortar was slowly tr uh, transferring to e-commerce and again, Amazon just pretty much ate up everything in the span of this pandemic because everyone was forced to go digital. So now that everyone's on the digital bandwagon, everything's just gonna keep trending at that digital pace even quicker than it was before because of this. So this is actually the best, uh, this pandemic, uh, because it's trending everything digitally and printing, we're printing trillions of dollars for economic relief is actually like the, the two most positive stars that could possibly be aligning for Bitcoin as an asset. Okay, so Bitcoin software, again, very easily transmissible. We'll get into that, into portability. So portability right here, that segues nicely, can be sent anywhere in the world via the internet, just like email. Okay, so Bitcoin, again, like if you guys have ever used PayPal or Venmo or Cash App, um, that's pretty much all I use to send money to friends and receive money and invoices and whatnot, you know? Use PayPal, use Venmo, use Cash App once again. But gold, uh, and, and sorry, Bitcoin can be done like that. Like you can send pick. We just got that news about PayPal introducing Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP to their ecosystem. OK, so with PayPal, if you have the PayPal app, you're going to be able to send Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies directly to other people. OK, which is crazy. And that makes it very, very practical, just like just like PayPal, literally just like PayPal and Venmo. Venmo is owned by PayPal and gold is 25 pounds for bar. So if you want to trans, if you want to go pay for anything in gold, that's pretty much impossible it's stupid to hold physical gold um i think i'd like i'm sorry if you guys like gold gold's pretty it's very it's very vain to to, to like gold in my personal opinion I, I don't like physical gold but i mean it's again it's cool it's cool to have gold it's very it's a legacy it is it's like a almost like a trophy like you just attribute it to to winning things like trophies and jewelry and whatnot but again very vain I, I don't i don't like physical gold i think it's stupid personally um aside from its use on the electronics and whatnot but physical gold is virtually useless to me so divisibility the thing about bitcoin is it can be divided into point oh oh like one millionth of one bitcoin that's called a satoshi okay that's why there's a big saying in the cryptocurrency world called stacking sats because at some point in time when Bitcoin gets to $500,000, I think that's very likely by 2025. I'll make a video about that in the near future. A million dollars, say in the next 10, 20 years, no one's gonna be able to afford that aside from the people who already have it. So that's why you guys get on the bandwagon early. That's why we're lucky. We're lucky to be this early. Keep that in mind. That's what I always tell myself. Price goes up 20%. It's at 13,000 right now as, we, as I'm making this video at the end of October. I mean, if someone's watching this in a few months, it could be a 20,000, it could be a 50,000. So oh, never, never be frightened about a 10% move up. It's still so early, okay? In my personal opinion. Um, again, divisibility, once a Toshi, one one millionth of a Bitcoin, because once it's a million dollars, it's just impractical to <laughs> to buy one. And again, that's the beauty of it. You can buy 0.01% of a Bitcoin, even right now. You can buy $1 of Bitcoin if you want to. So um, that's very important to keep in mind. And again, as the price of Bitcoin goes up, that that one Satoshi, that one one millionth of a Bitcoin becomes significantly worth significantly more. It could be worth as much. Again, if Bitcoin hits a million dollars, that's worth it's equivalent to $1. One sat is worth $1. Gold is a troy ounce. Um, I'm not super educated on physical gold. I'm not going to act like I know what that is, but please let me know down in the comments if you if you do. Again, gold, it just doesn't make sense. The physicality of it doesn't make sense. Who wants to carry around? It's like carrying around change. I haven't carried around change since I was probably like five years old and I was just for fun, but I don't even carry cash around anymore to be completely honest. I hate cash. Cash is stupid. Cash, ca cash is trash. The US dollar is not trash, but cash is trash. I think cash is whack to, to hold. And I haven't, I haven't held cash in probably the better part of a decade um storage digital wallet again digital you have your phone you have your phone if you have your your always the thing a lot of people who aren't familiar with this are very scared because they hear about people getting hacked they hear about people losing their bitcoin but there's a lot of safety precautions use two-step verification use multiple different wallets hold your hold your things on multiple different wallets just take the appropriate steps of safety 
to like safety uh, via via digital security to make sure that you don't get hacked that you don't like lose your bitcoin okay it's if you're a moderately responsible and technologically savvy person which i mean that's i don't that's not asking too much come on um then you'll you'll be just fine okay gold safer vault again you guys a lot of gold is held in like trust too you can't hold a million dollars of gold at your house that's stupid like you would have to hold that in a safe somewhere in a safe in switzerland or something in the in the mountains of switzerland and it's crazy on that topic there's actually um a few a few companies in in switzerland because a lot because bitcoin takes so much actually not to hold it because they're cold wallets it's just for i feel like it's just for the kind of like lore and story of it there's this company in switzerland that is literally hiding bitcoin like literally just little like usb drives of bitcoin in a vault in the mountains of switzerland so very um well, I'm Agent Cody Banks, shout out to you guys, shout out to you 90s babies if you remember that movie. Agent Agent Cody Banks, like mountains of Switzerland, you got uh, just a safe of very valuable things in there. But again, uh, Bitcoin, again, digital wallet, you can have it on your phone, you can have it literally anywhere, just make, just keep it safe. It's, it's you just have to be moderately responsible. Gold, once again, just if physical gold is so inefficient. Counterfeit difficulty, uh, prohib prohibitively expensive has not occurred today. So it it's not, it's not knowingly possible to to counterfeit Bitcoin. And because the network, because the blockchain is so strong, it's highly unlikely that that will ever happen because it just continues to get stronger and the, the technology just continues to get greater. So if it hasn't happened yet, from a technological perspective, it's very unlikely to occur in the future. Gold, difficult, but possible. Fool's gold, obviously you can tell the difference very like, a well-trained eye can probably spot fake gold from real gold. This isn't what I'm too worried about, but it's just more the, the absolute scarcity asset, uh, aspect of it. But gold is uh, definitely easier, still very hard, but definitely it de gold is possible to, to replicate. Alchemy, the, the magicians of old. Um, alchemy, I'm, I'm just kidding there. But gold, again, you can make things that look like gold very easily. Bitcoin is physically impossible to, um, to counterfeit because it's all on the blockchain. Lastly, adoption before we just go into this. Um, adoption, mark cap of 200 billion US dollars, um, which is tiny, you guys. That's half the size of Tesla right now. That's the that's the comparison I give. So Tesla, great company, again, revolutionary company. Don't wanna hate on Tesla. I do think it's currently very overvalued. Um, 1100 PE ratio. But again, Bitcoin is not a company. Bitcoin is is an asset of its own. Bitcoin is digital gold, okay? Which you'll see here, gold has a market cap of $9 trillion, which is insane. But just think about this. Bitcoin is not a company. Bitcoin was found by a pseudonymous group, uh, an individual or group of people who is unknown, Satoshi Nakamoto. That's why these are called Satoshis or Sats, okay? And that's crazy. That's crazy that someone had such, was so technically savvy to create what is what is called, what has been called by Jack Dorsey, founder of Square and Twitter, um, and Kevin Sistrom, the founder of Instagram, two very technically savvy, like two Mount Rushmore almost of apps and te very technically savvy individuals. They've called this the most beautiful technical innovation of our time, of our generation. And this guy is not known. He didn't put his face out there completely like zero ego, but yet a genius to, to conceive something like as beautiful as Bitcoin and the, and the blockchain. Because he created that and or, or this group of people created this and just got wiped off the map. So Bitcoin isn't owned by anybody. It's just a network of millions of people across the world using like the bitcoin they own and the computers they have to validate the blockchain that's what makes it the strongest technological network in the world that even if worst case scenario if, if governments ban it internationally it's still going to have some some people validating the blockchain like governments can ban it internationally but they physically like it's it's literally impossible to to stop and seize the bitcoin blockchain um, unless something catastrophic happens to the actual blockchain which um, hasn't even come close to happening yet. And then again, gold. So 200 billion, half the size of Tesla, not even a company, not, not prey to financials and whatnot. It's an asset class of its own gold, $9 trillion. So think about that gold, which after, after we just talked about everything that we did, gold has a market cap of $9 trillion and Bitcoin has a market cap of $200 billion. And that just gives you that. That's why my price target for Bitcoin, I made a video about this recently talking about it's called could bitcoin reach a million dollars in five years um that was said by mr Ralph paul man i respect very much but i personally believe five hundred thousand dollars is a lot more likely by 2025 just because 
um, I think Bitcoin could consume much of gold's market cap. And and what do you take the big the price the market cap of Bitcoin by the the current price of Bitcoin? It comes out about perfectly to nine trillion dollars um, at five hundred thousand dollars per Bitcoin. Okay, so with eighteen point five million Bitcoin out there, you times that by five hundred thousand, that comes out to roughly nine trillion dollars, just a little bit over. Because I just did the math in a video not too long ago. So again, you guys crazy here there's so much upside and the the beautiful thing about this is that i've heard the argument that makes a lot of sense that bitcoin won't only disrupt gold but bitcoin will disrupt all stores of value so if you think of every store of value which is a multi multi like tens hundreds of trillions of dollars industry quadrillion almost probably close to that if you think about stocks equities um gold homes real estate fine art modern art there's it can disrupt all of this just because it's a far more efficient only it's the only absolutely scarce work on the planet aside from like pieces of art that's a great thing to to relate it to and uh, i will talk about nfts in the future which is which is digital art built on the ethereum blockchain i do own a few uh, nfts from nifty gateway nifty if you're if you're watching this i mean let's let's collab here but um that said i will talk about that in the future you guys there's just so much possibility here and once again, you guys, all the macroeconomic fundamentals that are happening right now, uh, the pandemic, everything's trending digitally. Um, governments around the world are printing trillions of dollars in their own fiat currencies. Um, a scarce hard money asset like Bitcoin that's digital with like just makes it, it. If you don't believe in Bitcoin after this video, I don't know what's up. If you don't actually, please leave a comment down below with any questions or concerns or stipulations you may have about this. Um, and let me know if you happen to be converted. If you were a gold bug, happen to watch this video and we're like, damn, Bitcoin's actually more convincing, more appealing, I should say, than I thought. Please let me know that down below, whichever side you fall on. Love learning from you guys. Um, let's close it out by taking a look at this chart once again. We pretty much already covered it, you guys. So again, shout out to this guy, Wubull Charts. You guys go, again, I've never seen this chart in a video, so I'm, I was very happy to stumble upon this. The red and yellow nicely matches the, the yellow shades and the red waves hat right now. But um, that said, I love what he said down here. I humbly dedicate this chart to Peter Schiff in honor of his tireless promotion of Bitcoin to his audience of gold bugs. So Peter Schiff, you guys, ultimate gold bug. He's, he's like the joke of the Bitcoin landscape just because he's such a radical goal. He's actually being investigated for... Uh, for fraud right now at a very large scale. Anyway, you can see this, you guys. Uh, again, one dollar 11 years ago in Bitcoin, 17 million dollars up 17 million up 1.7 billion ish percent. Um, no, sorry, 100. No, yeah, I, I think it is 1.7 billion percent up on Bitcoin over over the span of 11 years. Gold up 83 percent. So again, you guys, gold. It's it served its purpose. It was a beautiful asset over the over the millennia, but Bitcoin's the new kid on the block. Everything's going technical. Um, everything's going technological, I should say. Everything's going digital, and Bitcoin's the obvious choice. Okay, so uh, we'll close it out there, guys. As always, I, I usually shout this out in the beginning, but I was so pumped to get that out to you that I'll talk about it at the end. Um, I would really appreciate it if you checked out my uh, complete portfolio daily newsletter. It's the first link in the description. As it states right here, a complete breakdown of my entire portfolio that I update every trading day. So every, every little, every, literally every position in my entire portfolio, call options, put options, stock positions, cryptocurrencies broke down in percentages of my portfolio. And then it's probably like around 30 to 40 positions at every given time. With every update, I also send an email newsletter explaining my thoughts. So uh, you guys may have seen this in other videos of mine. I do talk about the newsletter a lot, but I send this out literally every trading day during mar during hours of market open um, just to give you guys real time updates. I want to let you guys know what I'm doing in real time. And I don't only talk about my trades, but I talk about whatever's exciting me in the market. So a lot of times I talk about Bitcoin, like what's going on in the macroeconomic backdrop, the stimulus, the elections, whatever it may be, whatever I believe is important that I want to talk to you guys about in this. So I truly do do my best. I work very hard to make this worth at least worth your money if not a lot more again at least i like to think that so i do truly appreciate it if you guys check that out great way to support me great way to gain some value and uh again if you're still watching i appreciate you leave a like drop a comment down below always love talking shop with you guys love talking story and i'll catch you downstairs until next time always remember take action make waves peace